right, we're back in Deerte's garage. Got some jets in for the bike. We're going to tune the carburetor, see if it performs any better. So we'll get right into it. And so the stock jet size is supposed to be around a 70. I don't know whose measurement that is or what. So I went ahead and got in the 60s range. Um, I'm going to go down to a 60, put a 68 in it, and we'll see how it does. Alright, I'm ready for the test grip. Um, I was checking things over, and I lied to you. I was feeling ballsy, I guess, and went straight down to a number 66 jet. Um, so, yeah. We'll go ahead and give her a go. And I brought a, brought some stuff with me in case I feel I can go down some more. Okay. So, so made it down the way a little bit. Warmed it up a little bit. Still cold. Well, I mean, that part's hot, but she's still cold. Uh, let's reset this. We'll get her going. My dumbass is starting off up the hill. You want to test your torque? Yeah. Just take off at the bottom of the hill. <laughs>
mile an hour top on a piece of flat road. Flat roads are hard to come by around here in these parts of Pennsylvania. But uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it down to a 64 jet. I just so happen to have with me a carburetor and some tools. So, ain't nothing to it but to do it. down that road I came down and hit 40 on in the other video. Oh shit, you know what? You know what would help if, if I put the fuel line on? Probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can't discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, well my sons, if they act up, I'm like, son, you can't play the game today. They act up again, I'm saying, son, you're gonna read a book all day today, you can't watch TV. That's it. I won't cut your hair. 
this one. Now go play. So that's a plus. Uh, it liked the 66 jet a lot better than the 64. I don't know if it was the jet or the carburetor, but I'm gonna put the other carburetor back on with the 66 jet, run it with that. Um, I think the next step is I should probably finally actually check the squish clearance, adjust that, and we'll touch up the ports a little bit. Nothing major, just clean them up. I'm not gonna port it out go hog wild or anything just going to simply clean the nasty edges off of these ports because I've never touched this cylinder and I guarantee you the guy before me never touched it so we should be able to get some decent gains out of that um, 40, 41, 43 with a back wind and a slight downhill the, the, that's gonna, that was the top, top where I topped it out um, it would go more downhill if I, when I pushed it but you know that's with a 36 2 sprocket and a stock engine so I'm pretty happy with that uh, and this is a 32 millimeter intake so yeah not really sure the other geometries of this cylinder but we're gonna work with it and play with it um, so yeah let's go ahead and uh, check the squish clearance and go from there <laughs> 